So this is an application that uses open frameworks with the Connect, and I'm trying now to actually do some more stuff in 3D rather than just using the 3D data to do stuff in 2D, which is really what I was doing with the Box 2D and Quake demos. But there are limits to how far you can go with that. In reality, you need to, at some point, bite the bullet and, and go full 3D with these this data. Now you can see an artifact here. This is the RGB data superimposed on top of the 3D stuff. So you can see an artifact there where the mouse is. This actually because of the orientation of the uh, cameras on the Kinect, you get uh, they're slightly misplaced, for want of a better word. And it's not such a big deal when the objects are far enough, far away, but close up you can see here the RGB and the the um, depth data don't don't match. And that's why you get a shadow as well, which is because of the parallax between the emitter and the um, receiver. So this doesn't look like much, but if I go, I can turn off the color. I can also do um, side view. So that's me in 3D, real time. Now you've seen better demos on the web, and I'd love to know how those guys are doing it. But this is something I just mocked up this morning, this afternoon, and it's not actually that bad. Now it's only doing point data; it's not doing faces, so it's just giving a color to individual points. So I could actually zoom in there now. Um, oh, zoom in there. You can see individual points. I can move my um, position around. So that's how the stuff is being rendered. So if I just come back, you can see there's layers and layers of points. I've actually used my own calculation, depth calculations, rather than the uh, polished ones. I think I'm happier with them. And they suit my um, way I've set up the code. So you can pick different views. There's a top view, which is quite interesting. So that's the top view in 3D of what the camera is seeing. So that's me putting my hand out in front of me. That's me putting the hand above my head. So that's putting it behind. Putting two hands up. Wiggle wiggle. Um, front view, which is what I showed you before. And um, yeah. So the interesting here is if you turn off the color data and zoom in, they do this to the side. You can actually see the layering in more uh, more detail there, and also I can then um, zoom in a bit more. And um, so my face, there it is. Ah, ooh, ah. So you can see the depth data is not bad. It's probably if that's my nose there, and that's probably an, an inch long or something, sp split up into four or five segments. So you're getting sub centimeter accuracy in the 3D, which I suppose isn't so bad. But it does seem a little fat there actually. But we'll live with that. So I can turn off the point cloud, I have a bit of an interface here, I can uh, turn on the RGB data again. It's probably better. But you can also see things like uh, my eye is in the wrong position here. Again, that's because I'm actually so close to the connect. If I zoom out, if I um, go back to the original view, so, whether that gives you a better 3D effect, what if I use, say, um, side view? Like me in 3D, you could actually start to see then that the because I'm using a point data, it's transparent, so you can actually see the points behind. So I'm actually calculating the um, Interference between points which is a significantly larger, larger piece of work. There you go. Thanks again for watching.